Hello and welcome to the Philippines. Uh, this is a walk on Ramos Street in the uptown area of Cebu City. Uptown area kind of centers on the Fuente Osmina traffic circle area. And I'm not sure what the, if there is such a thing as an exact boundary of that area. But anyway, there's the Diplomat Hotel and it is still closed, I believe. And right next to it, right there, is a, a new, I believe it's a new condominium or apartment building. And there's your typical jeepney. Bench seats on each side. Low roof, so duck your head. Duck your head, try not to step on any toes as you make your way in and try to find a seat. When I came here in 2015 for the first time, uh, I had a taxi driver I picked up someplace, not sure where, but I told him I was staying at Premier City Suites. And he kept saying, uh, City Suites, City Suites. City, uh, I said, no, Premier City Suites. Anyway, he took me to City Suites, which, which is just almost where I started there, condominium project. And uh, he was lost. He didn't know where it was. And uh, I was lost uh, my first week here. So I got out and I tried to use Google Maps to try to find my way back. And I think I might be a kilometer away from Premier City Suites Hotel. But uh, I think I probably walked about five kilometers around in circles trying to find it. Anyway, it's it, Ramos Street is a is really a, a pretty unique street in itself. There's a number of uh, hotels, condominiums, uh, lots of Filipino type restaurants. Uh, we've got Velez Hospital uh, just across the street. We've got right right here on this corner, there's usually Hobble Hobble motorbike taxis and uh, I've gotten to know those guys pretty well. And uh, I'll use them often, there's also you know, the hubble hubble drivers, the tricycle drivers, the taxi drivers, they know where you generally get get uh, passengers. And this is a small town lottery. That's one of the, the gambling operations they have here, a little lottery. A lot of, a lot of people Monday play those. Monday noon traffic. Anyway, this was uh, walking uh, kind of that same route on a Monday after the rain stopped. So Mondays, Mondays and Fridays are tend to be bigger traffic days. And so if you want to go out shopping, if you want to go someplace and you have the option of going other days, uh, Sunday is a low traffic day. Saturday can be a low traffic day. Uh, Monday and Friday are generally the busiest traffic days. Got 7-Eleven across the street here. I think there are more Jolly Bees than there are 7-Elevens. Because <laughs> you don't have to go very, very far to run into a... Uh, it might be the other way around. There, there might be more 7-Elevens uh, than Jolly Bees here. I am headed up to Robinson's Mall. I need to get some half-inch wood screws uh, to mount a, uh, a little shelf bracket that I purchased and uh, the wood I have to go into isn't uh, three quarters inch. Anyway, that guy is, they collect 20 pesos, 20 pesos per hour or any part of an hour uh, to park on these streets. And there is a certain period of time when you're not allowed to park. You will get a citation or they might even uh, put a, uh, a wheel lock, a boot lock, on your tire or they might no, no, even tow it. I've seen that happen a time or two. I am headed up uh, towards what's called Mango Avenue. The official name was changed I think uh, right after World War II I believe and it's General Maxillome Avenue but everybody still in fact there's still maps that call it Mango Avenue. Uh, it used to be, I, well, there is a Mango Square there. It used to be a very popular entertainment place, a lot of bars, discos. Uh, a couple of those places burned down. 
uh, one of uh, uh, a former mayor didn't like the reputation. This is what I've been told. Didn't like the reputation the place was getting because it would get pretty uh, big crowds and drinking people and uh, they're out on the sidewalks. Made it difficult to renew their licenses is what I've been told. Not sure if that's all fact or not. But anyway, there's there's virtually no bars in that area that used to be an entertainment hub anymore. They are down the street. There was one just back down Ramos Street, 301 Ramos Bar. Uh, bar and restaurant. They, they make a good uh, burger, uh, barbecue ribs, pulled pork sandwich, a number of other things. And they've got uh, various sports on. They've got a number of televisions in there, so it's uh, they run different types of sports in there. A guy come in the other day and, and he asked, are you going to be open at 4 a.m.? Because I want to watch American football, and that's the time it comes on. And uh, I think somebody, I'm not sure what the answer was. <laughs> 4 a.m. Uh, but anyway, a lot of times if there are UFC fights, uh, in Vegas or other parts of the U.S., they come on about 10 o'clock here on a Sunday if they fight on a Saturday I'll be night. Back shortly. <laughs> and yeah, Ramos, Ramos Bar, 301 Ramos Bar, which is the address just across the street mm -hmm. there. And I just uh, hollered, uh, hollered uh, off to the owner was was sitting outside, told him I would be back a little bit later. They have bands in there many nights. I'm not sure if it's every night or not. I think they start, usually start about 8 o'clock, and they're open till uh, the wee hours of the morning, at the very least. You got a, uh, you got a couple massage places along here. Uh, you've got a veterinary, a pet hospital, well, pet, pet clinic, I guess, along here. And karaoke bar or two along here. I've got over a yeah. Here's the veterinary uh, clinic here for Hello. animals. And I've got over a over a thousand videos up. Many of those are about renting condominiums, rental property, selling, buying properties, cost of living, travel videos, and such. So check out my other videos. This was a massage place, and they had, yeah, they had a sign out. It says closed, and this says open. Which one? <laughs> it is open. They've got a sign up that says closed, and one that no, says I open. Go. I think I, it's a massage place. Stuff, maybe later. Right. Hello. Hello. <laughs> there are lots of massage places in town, maybe later. and uh, real inexpensive yeah. to get uh, massages here. They start around 250 pesos, about five dollars, then on up from there, depending upon various types of massages, I guess. I was also uh, going to get some, and I did. I got some potting soil. Got a couple bags of potting soil. Got some more uh, planter-type things to, because uh, uh, I bought a bunch of seeds and I planted some. Uh, Broccoli sprouts the other day, and they're coming up after just a couple days. Primeway Plaza. Yeah, Primeway Plaza here. They've got a uh, number of stores in there, coffee shop or two, restaurant, I think. Up on Fuente Traffic Circle, where I'm headed, there actually there's two Robinsons malls. There's there's Robinsons Fuente, which has a a grocery store and a department store in it and a hardware store and then directly across the big traffic circle is uh, Robinson's Cybergate I think it's called and they've got more restaurants fast food restaurants I think they've got a medical clinic in there uh, where they do some catering to foreigners I believe got a number of hospitals, uh, Chungwa Hospital, Cebu City is up just off the circle as is not very far at all is Summit Circle Hotel. Summit Circle Hotel there. There's another one down Summit Circle Galleria. Summit Circle is temporarily closed until further notice. Hmm. 
And there's Cebu Doctors Hospital very close. Got a number of uh, other hospitals within just a few blocks of this area. Down that area takes you to Mango Square area. And you go down a few blocks and uh, past Mango Square on Mango Avenue. And there are a couple other bars down that direction. Uh, a, couple, a lot of the bikini bars are closed, but there are a number of, number of other bars, regular bars. Anyway, I have arrived, so I'm going to go down. I'm going to get something to eat here while I'm here and uh, get some items that I need. Thanks for watching, uh, and we'll see you next time.